Ah, uh, welcome back, everyone, to an episode of Austria Hungary. So we're also, we're gonna start the episode off here in a war that we didn't want to enter in again. I mean, I, this I don't know why this always happens, but we enter in wars that we don't want to enter into, which then makes me have to go in and go fight off millions of other people, which then annoys me to no end. Like it, it just. I feel like all this happens to me for no apparent reason than the game just saying, huh, this nation's been at peace for way too long. Time for war. Yeah. So, we just crushed the entire... We, we basically just crushed the entire, like, army, per se, of the uh, people. So, that's a pretty good thing. Um, over here in Greece, I'm getting kind of worried because, like, um... I really don't like the fact that France is over there. I, I just... It, it makes me kind of nervous. And Egypt right now is suffering from rebels. Oh my goodness, Egypt. You know what? That's fine, actually. If they want to revolt and have all these problems, that is fine. I don't really care. Because, like I said, I didn't even want this, uh... I didn't even want this union to begin with, so... <sighs> to have them finally, like... To have them break it off would be like the greatest thing ever. The World Fair venue. Oh well, you know what? We, we don't have to be jerks. We could just be nice people. Okay, start invading though. We're gonna send in two. Ar we're gonna send in two armies to go attack. I'm pretty sure this army by itself could probably defeat what we needed to. But just to make sure, I'm gonna go send in a good 42 stack, and we're gonna make these guys pre pretty much bleed. I mean, yeah. You Whoa, we're like, we're they're not even standing a chance. Dang. Okay, uh, send in my bigger 38 stack, go right here, go right here. First, let's go crush their army, and then we'll start dealing with all the other stuff. Okay, yeah, their army's basically crushed. It's, oh my goodness, like, this isn't even, oh wow. I mean, barely, barely the start of a war, and we already are winning. I mean, we, wow. Yeah, two Sicilies, this was not exactly a good idea to declare war on me. Especially since you didn't bring in anyone else bigger than you to, to help support you. So, this is basically going to go one or two ways, and each one is basically going to end with you dying. So, let's see. We can also do of state and government. The new ideology will be moved. Hmm. Well, it seems like we got of state and government, so let's do that! We get prestige! Who's all? Okay, and we're getting closer and closer to the ba the Barian Federation. Um, right now we just yeah, this is by the way. If you guys don't know, this is probably what I want to do. Um, it's gonna be a very risky day when I actually do this, but this is what I want to do. And let's see, we have to invent revol revolution and counter revolution. So how close are we on that? I don't know, but we need to get emancipationism because emancipationism is like still a good technology to get in this game. As far as I know, you guys are about to be crushed. Oh yeah. I mean, you guys, uh, hmm, I almost feel like I want you guys to do something for me, because, like, you guys want to be so jerks about it, about this war, I mean, I didn't even want to fight this war, and yet you guys wanted to fight this war, so, I feel like I need to do something that's going to be really, really, you know, jerkish, I guess, per se, uh, let's see, if we achieve this goal, we gain five, if we achieve this, uh, do, do we want land from them, maybe? Let's see, do they have any algae? Well, they do have a decent, a, a great sulfur uh, mine, but then again, so do we. We have pretty, we have a decent sulfur mine, too, so. Yeah, plus, plus, with that, I don't think I could support that infamy now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, you know what? Let's accept white peas. It's okay, guys. No, nothing really happened. But you guys should know you guys lost severely, and I was, and the only reason why I ended the war was because you guys were not much of a threat to me. Okay, just so you guys know. I mean, uh, got to kick them out. Got to kick a powerful nation just because I want to. Egypt's gonna have rev uh, rebellion trouble. That's good. You know what? If they have rebellion trouble, oh, they fixed it. Dang it! <sighs> this, this is this is gonna be like a meme or something. Or like, I wanted them not to do what they need to do, and yet they did what they need to do, and it messed me over. Uh, and over here, I'm going to increase incre increase our bureaucrats. So I want to make sure that we have complete and utter control. And right now, this is really nice. Like, having the uh, 
Having the uh, Hungarians as accepted culture has completely changed our outlook on life. Like, we have so much green going right now, it's not even funny. And with that green, we can slowly but surely, like, our economy is just like, ooh, never mind. Keep that about that. Uh, most of the time, our economy is just, like, still booming, and which makes us a really powerful nation to deal with. Okay, we got both of these. Oh, wait, these are men. Go right here. Let's see, we still got this expanding. Yeah, this is, this is gonna take a long time to expand because if you build it all at once, it takes an insanely long time to expand. But once you're done, it is a, it is a worthwhile thing. Socialism has developed in the least likely of places, everyone. Denmark. Denmark invented socialism. That is probably pretty funny right there. Alright, you finally ready to be added to my sphere? Thank you! Alright, so now we have a safe little, another little buddy that we can use against the Ottomans. They're called the, uh, the, uh, Greco states. And they're basically gonna be my little people who I'm gonna use to, uh, help advance, help advance, uh, my empire. Let's see, have we already started, like, upgrading their, their armory? Yes, we have, and let's see, can we build any factories right now? Do they have any successful, any successful stuff that I could, like, definitely take over? No. They're mostly a really bad nation. So that's not really good. But how about you, Sardinia? I know we I know we don't see eye to eye, but I mean, do you have anything I could use to like help upgrade yourselves? Let's upgrade that. And let's upgrade this. And yeah, let's just keep investing because the more you control the country, the more like the in essence I should say, the more they're grateful to you. So it's very good to like do stuff. Uh, we could probably reopen up this. I actually do need a clothing factory opened. So yeah, if you guys could do that, if you guys could also, well, you guys don't actually have anything I need built over here. Uh, since this has so many soldiers, I'm just going to like, could you guys build like a canned factory for me, please? Thank you. All right, let's see if that will give me like the economics I need. All right, Bavaria wise, let's see. Since you guys aren't technically a part of my empire, but you guys are kind of part of my empire. I'll let you guys slide with... Let's upgrade your explosive factories. Oh my goodness, how'd you guys collapse? Let's open all of these back up. Let's see, if I open up all three of them... Uh, just open up those four and we should be able to be fine. Because, like, that should make us a lot of money initially due to all the workers that can go into this. So, there we go. Uh, Palatinate, I'm not even going to care about that region. And there we go. 49% of our investments are right there. Alright. Yeah. Just basically, this is the one... See, a lot of people kind of, like, get mad at, mad, mad at Paradox for, like, having it seem like there's only kind of one style to play. Like, you can only play as an almighty dictator of the economy, and you must always manage your economy. Well, sometimes if you're lazy like me and you don't really want to do that... Okay, let's, let's destroy all the unmanned brigades. I don't know how to keep getting unmanned, though. That's the only... That's my only query right now. Oh my goodness, that was like destroying an entire unit. Okay, you guys, get back to land. You guys get back to over here. Okay, you guys combine, I guess. Because apparently my... I lost a lot of troops there. A lot of troops. That was not exactly the best moment of my life. Yeah, not exactly the best moment of my life by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, fort levels wise. Yeah, it seems like we're encouraging craftsmen at a good rate. Reduction of prestige. But yeah, what I was about to go with that was that sometimes if you just want to just build stuff and just see what happens, this is also what this game is really good at. Um, in terms of investment wise, over here though, Virginia and Moldavia seem to be doing a pretty good job. I don't have to really invest too much into the nation because the nation's basically developed. Alright, you guys all combine. Now split apart. And you guys go over here, go crush these rebels. Uh, you guys right here, go destroy all your dead units. And actually, that's still a pretty good balanced unit right there. That's good, because I didn't want to, like, make an entirely new unit. But yeah, just, sometimes it's good just to, like, build different factories in different areas so that they will eventually help you in the long run. Or hinder you in the long run, depending on how you view it. And apparently they have gone bankrupt. That's pretty interesting. And apparently Kudin stands at war with Persia right now. Which, I'm also having some trans Dalvian, Croatian people try to revolt against me. They're not gonna, they're not gonna succeed, especially since right now I'm like, powerful. 
Like, if I wasn't powerful right now, this would probably be one of those moments I'd be like, oh, snap. I'm probably dead. But right now, I'm probably very powerful, and I have a vassal here to help me that's just literally right there. I mean, my vassal loves me, so there's like no, there's no friction between me and my vassal. Me and my vassal, vassal is like, yeah, high five, we're buddies. See, look at that. Let's see, let's our relationship right now, 70. Okay, not the best it could be. But now it's 85. They would never, I guarantee you, our vassals would never declare war on me. They're too nice. Alright, and apparently I can also get some more. I can also lower taxes above like 36%. There we go. Yeah, look at that. I am slowly but surely fighting this. We are not, we have slowly but surely increased our economy to a point where everyone loves it. Okay, you guys, go hunt down rebels, please. Yeah, the reason why I stick you in certain areas, by the way, let's go see supply limit. You guys go right there then. Alright, we want to make sure we also make sure the supply limit is not too much for these guys. And let's see, we have, again, oh my goodness. Okay, build up, men. Build up, let's see, what do we need to build up now? Uh, actually, to be frank, I think we actually need to build up, like, actual infantry. We don't actually need to build up any cannons, so let's start doing that. Oh my goodness, I hate this. Hate this so much. I want to build up proper soldiers, but yeah, I can't. Because, like, we can't build right now. Our army is just not big enough. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Okay. Man, Egypt, you guys are... You guys are tearing a new one into the... Oh, wait, no, the Ottomans are finally coming back. Thank goodness. Thank goodness! Alright, Venezuela, you guys are going to be a part of my new empire, too. We just need to kind of slowly but surely take over all your economics, and then you guys will be perfectly fine and be part of my empire. It does, this process does take a little bit of time, but once once it's done, it's usually very quite worth it to become part of my empire. By the way, you guys also expand your naval fort, because I want to make sure I have a decent amount of fort limit there. Um, Go right here, go keep combining with all of our uh, fleets, because I want to make sure we have a good attack fleet. That's, that's nine men of war. That's not exactly good, especially now since there's probably ironclads coming up. It's probably not exactly good. Uh, and yes, I if people were asking me in the comments, was, were I happy that in fact I made the great and mighty Netherland Empire? Yes, I am pretty happy because it's so funny to see like a different power, you know, besides just Northern Germany and France. Like, a legit power that can actually stand between both of them and could potentially turn the tides of either nations. Like, this is the reason why I wanted them in here, was because then they could, at any point in this game, either one of these two nations could okay, warn each other, whoever has relationships with the Netherlands will probably gain a good advantage against the other because of, really, reasons. Alright, and let's see, diplomatic influence, do I want that yet? Uh, uh, we could probably, I know we could probably rush this right now and probably get it, but I don't think there's any real... I don't think I need it at this point. I need to start working on other stuff like supply limits and converge on a conservative colonial policy debated. Uh, conservative arm argument always prevails. I'm in the, in the matters of colonialism. You guys have no say. <laughs> like I hate to admit it, but you guys have like no say. Okay, you guys, let's go find you guys some good supply limit. Okay, that's pretty nice. Right over there. All right. And our nation is becoming more and more... Okay, we're finally going to get our first fort levels here. Finally! Like, this this region like had no forts for the longest of time. And if maybe if they had forts, we probably would have survived the uh, Northern Germanic Federation attack onto us a little bit better. And Jacobson Rebels, again, you guys don't understand this. I actually have an empire right now. It's keeping my... I actually have troops. I actually have fighting power. I mean, I'm not really going to collapse anytime soon. I, I guarantee it. I, I guarantee I will not collapse anytime soon. Okay? So don't try it. Don't try it. Okay, and it seems like we keep building more and more. Which is what I want to do. I want to make sure that we keep building. Um, yeah, as you can see, like, like I said, you see, the factories slowly start to fill up the more and more craftsmen you encourage. Which is exactly what you need to do, because you want to make sure that your factories just keep on growing. Um, but the problem is, is that sometimes your factories aren't built in the right places, and so they kind of screw up your economy later on. Especially when you try to, like, build massive empires of of epicness. Oh, Greece, you want alliance? Sure. Okay, and Germany has officially become the number one power in terms of army men. 
That means for France to stop them, they would probably need my help. Which I'm still dealing with a lot myself. Seriously. Like, I'm still just trying to build up an army to try to stand up against just my neighbors, really. So, but we'll, we'll try our best. If, if we ever get called into war, we'll try our best. That's the way I'll put it. We will try our best. Okay. Um, with that being said, we're about to research medicine, which is going to be a good tech for us to have. Um, in terms of bureaucrats, we're actually almost to the point where bureaucratics are actually looking nice. Like, 0.88% of our population right now is bureaucrats, which is nice. Um, clergymen were also really, really close. Well, not really, really close. We're close enough. And apparently, like, 4% of our people have to be capitalists for us to, like, have good bonuses. Well, too late for that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So, what we could do right now is also gain... I think I'm going to gain lane class fee. Just because I wanted to get that little extra bonus to, like, um, researching tech and factory output. Which is really nice. Alright, and we got really good economics going, so let's decrease our points by, like, 2... Ah oh, man, look at look at that. That looks so nice. 34% of my people are getting taxed. And I'm only doing like, okay, I don't really care what the Ottomans are doing because the Ottomans are kind of lame. 5% tariffs. That's not too bad, I do say so myself. In fact, we could probably decrease it down to 2 and raise this back up to about 2. I don't really like this per se, but yeah, there we go. 2% tariffs. That should help my economy majorly. Yeah, look at that. All oh, this is now green. All oh, this is now green. Oh, yeah, that 2% tariffs is now helping my empire. Plus, that's also helping me get some of the goods from other countries that I'm using to help build my empire. And the uh, Tunisian, the Bohemian nationalists are really annoying. Okay. Um, yeah, I should send these ones. I'll probably go send over here. Because I like this. Okay, no, 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 no. You guys, wait a second. Wait until these guys engage it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we want to make sure the bigger unit goes in gates first. Because, yeah, that, that could end in tragedy. Let's just say that. Could end in tragedy if I don't send the right amount of units. There we go. The crushed. And bo Bon Appetit. Got more units than some of my other... Some of my other navy. Let's see. Yes, more manpower. More... Oh, oh, shoot. No, no, no. Not more manpower like that. Um... Just imagine that, just like, the, just imagine if like, the country you own just automatically, randomly just said, Oh, guys, we're gonna have a draft! Oh, wait, just kidding, we're not actually having a draft! Oh, that'd be so funny. This would be one of the most embarrassing things in the entire world, but it'd be funny. Alright, so yeah, you guys aren't really that big enough to do much in terms of actually building me an empire. I'm um, Sweden! How is Sweden doing in terms of building up stuff? Wow, Sweden's actually doing pretty good. Okay, is there anything I can use to, like, help bi build an empire? Hmm. They're subsidizing everything, so that's really good. So I obviously want to keep whatever they have. Um, let's make a glass factory here, and let's open up this factory right there. Let's go see if they're actually going to succeed. I'm, I'm not sure if they will, but we will find out. Alright. And in terms of influence, we have, like... 8.8 .8 infamy right now, which means we basically have the Andres Republic has formed. Uh, okay. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Um, basically what that means is we do have an opportunity to go declare war on people, so let's go think about people we can declare war on. Well, right now I'm still... We could probably go beat up Russia, actually, if I really thought about it. I mean, we could build up their nation right now, which is scary thought. Like, we can, since they're not a great power right now, we could basically just build up all of this. But I have a feeling that I won't be at peace with Russia forever. So, I, I don't feel like it'd be a good thing to do that. Oh my goodness. And finally, the Ottomans are starting to crush on this. Uh, the Austrian Hungary, uh, finally, Germany's finally starting to invade this region. It took them a long time to do that. Like, it took them an insanely long time. West Galicia, oh gosh. Please tell me you guys aren't going to join in on this crisis. I really, really, for the love of Benji, don't want to be in it on this crisis. Like, if somebody if somebody else can do this. Like, yeah, yeah, no one else wants to do this. Good, good, I'm glad this is not going to be a great event. Uh, Jacobson's and Tunis, 
What? Dude, Tunnis. Oh gosh, that's actually a decent sized force. And oh gosh, the episode has ended. And oh gosh, no one wanted to join in the crisis, as I thought. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to build some soldiers here in my African provinces. I'll see you guys next time.